Here we have a couple of word problems that can be solved by graphing a, a series of linear inequalities. And where those inequalities overlap, the shaded region is going to be the solution to this problem. I think the hardest part about this is just reading through the words in the word problem and trying to translate them into the appropriate inequalities. The graphing, not so hard once you do that. In fact, we'll just use a graphing program uh, to take care of the graphing for us. But let's see if we can figure out what's going on in this first problem. It says a gardener will use up to 230 square feet for planting flowers and vegetables. He wants the area used for flowers to be at least four times the area used for vegetables. Let x denote the area in square feet used for flowers. OK, so x is flowers. That's important for us to remember. And then it says let y denote the area in square feet used for vegetables. So y is vegetables. So x is the amount of square feet planted in flowers, y the amount of square feet planted in vegetables. Now, let's see if we can figure out some inequalities from the, the data or the information we have up here. This first sentence says a gardener will use up to 230 square feet for the whole garden, for the flowers and the vegetables. Well, the flowers and the vegetables would just be x plus y. Up to means it could be equal to 230 feet, but it's not going to be greater than 230 feet. So it's got to be less than or equal to 230. So that's our first inequality. Let's look at the next sentence. It says he wants the area used for flowers, that's x, to be at least four times the area used for vegetables. Well, our area used for vegetables is y. So four times the area used for vegetables is 4y. So that's going to be part of what we're doing here. So x is at least 4y. Well, that means it's equal to or it's greater than. So x is at least 4y. Now that would seem to be all the information we have in this problem, but there are a couple of other inequalities here that are of the common sense variety. And what I mean by that is um, x and y can't be negative numbers. Uh, you could plant zero um, in flowers and zero in vegetables if you wanted to, but you couldn't plant negative one. It just doesn't make sense. You can't unplant flowers or vegetables. So x would have to be greater than or equal to 0, and y would have to be greater than or equal to 0. This is a pattern that will repeat itself in lots of these types of problems. So be looking out for that. All right, so we've got our, our inequalities here. I think that's all we can, can get from this. So let's go ahead and graph them. I'm going to use Desmos here. And let's see, our first one was x plus y is greater than, whoops, is less than or equal to 230. And let me zoom out here a little bit. There we go. OK. And we had x is greater than or equal to 4y. Huh. So we're shading below this one, but above this one. Oh, I see. So we'd be shading above the x, so it's really below. So it's this chunk right here so far. OK, and then we'd have x is greater than or equal to 0, and y is greater than or equal to 0. So it's got to be above this line to the left, or sorry, to the right of this line. It's below this line and below this line. So it's this little triangle right in here that's going to be our solution for this problem. All right, let's try another one. The second one says Maya does a weekly exercise program consisting of cardiovascular work and weight training. Each week she exercises for at least 12 hours. I'm going to stop here and jump ahead to what X and Y are. It says let X be cardiovascular. So that's the time spent cardiovascular and Y is weight training. And already I think I can write an inequality. Each week she exercises at least 12 hours. That means x plus y has to be 12 or greater. So greater than or equal to 12. OK. Next sentence says, she spends at most eight hours on weight training. OK, y is weight training. At most 
means it's equal to or less than 8. Okay, and then it says she spends at most 9 hours on cardiovascular. So same kind of thing, but for x, less than or equal to 9. And I think that's all the information we have up here, except for the fact that you can't exercise a negative amount. You could exercise 0, so this would be x has to be greater than or equal to 0 for the um, cardiovascular, and same for the weight training, y has to be greater than or equal to 0. So those are our inequalities. Let's see if we can graph those. So x plus y is at least, so greater than or equal to 12. And then y is less than or equal to, uh, what was that, 8. And x is less than or equal to 9. And then x is greater than or equal to 0. And y is greater than or equal to 0. All right. And let's actually zoom in a little bit. So let's see if we can figure this out. Um, this one, x plus y, has to be greater than 12. So that's this line right here, and we have to be above this line. Then we have y is less than 8. So that's this line here and shaded below. And then x is less than 9. That's this line here shaded below. And we end up with this triangle right here. So that little area right there is a solution to this problem. So that is a little bit of work uh, with solving a word problem um, by graphing a system of linear inequalities.